Hey, Tyrese. Yes, sir. This is Kyle from You Know I Got So. I um, just wanted to talk about your music a little bit. Um, you know, I noticed with your most recent projects, you, you've pretty much just been pushing to the grown audience as far as the music and even the promotion. So um, talk about that approach because I know a lot of artists are always trying to cater to the younger generation. That's a really good question and a really good observation, sir. Yep, thank you. Also, as you ask Crystal, very specific, you know your shit. I love it. Um, well, look, man, I'm grown. And I'm proud of being grown. Chris Brown and all of the youngsters that are out there doing their thing, um, they're supposed to. I've never been competitive. I've never been intimidated by somebody else's success. I don't want anybody's hit records. I just want my own. I don't want nobody else's album sales, their videos, their looks, their sold out concerts. I just want my own. I've always been very secure in my own skin. As a matter of fact, when I go to the gym to work out, I look at pictures of how good I used to look. And that becomes my motivation to want to work out. Yeah. Uh, so with that being said, you know, I'm 34 years old, man, and trying to turn up and get into all that youngster shit, popping shoulders and talk about making it rain and popping bottles in the club and doing all that, that ain't really my sweet spot. That ain't really my demographic, and I don't know if it's believable for me and my actual fan base. Um, so I think it's more so, instead of like purposely running away from a younger generation, or a younger demographic. It's just me understanding what my target is and what my market is and what my sweet spot is. And, um, you know, the reason they're doing it is because that's a part of their demographic and it works for them. Yeah. And for folks older than me that are still trying to pop and turn up, congratulations to them. Keep it moving. If you can rock it, go for it. Yeah. And, you know, I've also noticed that with your career now, you're more involved with the music than you have been in the past. So, um, with Crystal's project, how involved are you going to be with that? Because I know at times for some artists, they complain that um, the upper people have too much control over it. So, what's the balance there to make sure that you have enough control, but that you also give her some control? Well, the thing is, you know, um, as involved as she wants to be, um, because I'm an artist and I can relate to those sensitivities around being creative, having a voice, wanting to say this, wanting to do that, wanting to approach it like that, it's fine. But I think in the midst of doing something that you've done, in the midst of trying to do something for the first time, as much as you want to teach, you must also equally remain a student and be open to suggestions and ideas and not be bullheaded and not be controlling as far as what you're doing to make everybody feel like their voice, their interest, and what they want to do is not welcome here. Um, I don't think I would allow that anyway, but for the most part, I'm, you know, I, I, I know what I'm doing. I know how to put together a great album. Um, I took the lead on putting the TGT album together. Um, as far as writers and producers and the direction of the album, along with Tank. Um, but I know how to create an album and a body of work from the beginning, the middle, and the end. And I really feel like creatively I represented that with my Open Invitation album. Because you could listen to that album from top to bottom and not skip any songs. And it was purposely done that way. And the same with the TGT album. So... As far as an album with a real body of work, you're going to get that from this Crystal album, and it's going to be Crystal. It's just not, this is not Crystal singing a bunch of Tyree songs. All right, so, you know, your last album was a big su success, and it was released on an independent label, but the TGT project was also a big success, and that was on a major. So after the TGT project, did you have any second thoughts about possibly returning to a major? No. No. No, sir. Um, you know, the thing is, you cannot deny the huge amount of money and uh, the amount of uh, kind of 
distribution and marketing financial outlets that that are out there in a major label. However, you know, not directed at Atlantic Records specifically, but what you will find in a lot of major labels, especially especially with executives that's been at a label for a long time, trying to survive in a 2013-14 world with the mentality of an 89 record executive can present a lot of challenges because you're basically, you can find yourself trying to talk people into things that they're just not used to spending money on. You're trying to talk people into doing things and going about things in a very unconventional, non-traditional way. And they're like, no, we're not used to doing that. We're not used to going about it like that. We're not used to spending money on this and on that. And I don't think that's going to work because it hasn't worked with our 20, 30 years in the business. So I think at the end of the day, the reason why we sold the amount of records we sold um, is because everything that we did was unconventional, untraditional, and it worked. And I'm not tooting my own horn because I'm very humbled by the success of Open Invitation, but at the end of the day, it definitely made a lot of people in the industry scratch their heads and say, well, we got two, three million dollars behind this album, and they did 13,000 the first week. How the hell did Tyrese do 109,000 records the first week and go on to sell close to 480,000 records worldwide? How is that possible? And, um, you know, we only had a staff of eight or nine people, and we basically went balls to the wall and never, never let off the gas until we got as far as we could possibly go. And the reason why we stopped is because I actually ran out of money. <laughs> I would have sold more records than that. <laughs> I believe it. 